Oh, hello there. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I bet you didn't expect to see us here again. Uh, and honestly, we didn't expect to be here again. They just kind of threw me in the back of a van and dropped me off here. Uh, but, you know, I'm glad to be here uh, nonetheless. I'm your host, uh, Eli Grasham. I'm here uh, with my two friends over here, the kennel. We have former kennel member, Carlos Lopez. And we have new member here, Tessa Stefanatas. Well, welcome, welcome to the show. Thank yeah, you. Kinda, Very happy to be here. Kind of kidnapped me too. I was, I don't know how they did it with you, but I think mine was obviously Taylor. It was Taylor. Because the guy oh, kind of picked me I up. I think Sali got me. Was it like you're like he picked you up right away? Because mine was kind of a struggle. Uh, Taylor <laughs> yeah. just dragged me here by my hair. Uh, oh, I, I, he can't. What do you that wouldn't today. know? Yeah. yeah, I wouldn't know. <laughs> All right. Well, to start us off, we're gonna talk a little bit here. Uh, and first and foremost, we're gonna talk about how it's now been officially four years since the pandemic started. Four years yesterday. Yesterday. Or but like it now has Yeah, been. yeah. Well, I, I, remember being, I remember being in Hot Dog Pride in eighth grade, and they're telling us we're not coming back to school for another two weeks. and then so It was off. three weeks. No, it was two weeks. It was two weeks. weeks at first, and then it turned into a yeah. three week. I, and I, then have they a, I have a Snapchat memory where it was like, oh, we're Oh, yeah, because spring break. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because we were out of school for three weeks, and I was like, we were like t talking about it, and it was like all jokes and fun. Can you imagine? We were like, how old were we? 14. 14. -ish. 14. And now, now we're like 17, 18. About to graduate in two months. Bro, that's crazy. That's, that's actually insane. That's crazy. Insanity. Uh, but what were we doing most of the time during the pandemic? We're messing around on TikTok. Too bad, never again. It's not getting banned. <laughs> I don't. You're so dramatic. It's it's gone. It it might as well be. Uh, it, gone, it's, but not forgotten. Not forgotten. Not Definitely forgotten. not. Why do you uh, say it's gone? It's not gone. You guys well, still can get on. Well, it's not gone So if, yet. You're if you're telling me if you get on your phones right now, they banned it already. It'll be gone in like 178 days, but... <laughs> like, it's not gone. It, like, it'll be gone in approximately 7 to 12 business days. It, it's it's yearly banned because it makes people stupid, what they're saying. But. Yeah, but, it, but it, 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 it passed the house this year, so there, there's more validity to this than, than any of the others. Uh, but... Want to know something that I learned on TikTok recently? What's that? Joe Flacco signing yes. with the Colts. Now, this is We're big news. The Super Bowl. Super Bowl winning QB, comeback player of the year last year, and he's going to be mentoring the comeback player of the year next year. This Anthony picture Richard. is really high quality. It is very high quality. It's really, really high quality. You know, he, he did take them to the playoffs, but... They, they lost first round, but I mean, what he was, able, Browns, to, though, what he was able to do with the Browns, to take the Browns to the playoffs... Shout out to the Tom Take Potts. The Browns to the Super Bowl. Shout out. Shout out to Tom Potts. Shout out to Tom Potts. Nah, not really. Uh, but without further ado, fun cold. I would like to introduce all of you here today to our special guest, Mitch Barons. Come on up. Hey. Hello there. Hey. Hello. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm good. <laughs> I'm good. How about How you? How are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I'm excited. This is exciting to be here. Yeah. Thanks we're for having me. We're all, oh, we're all ecstatic. Well, I mean, I guess, I mean, you kidnapped me. So just like you were kidnapped here, I was kidnapped so by cool. Eli. And, mm -hmm. So I didn't have a choice, but I am but happy. You're happy to, I'm, I'm happy to hear you now, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And no one is forcing you to say that, right? Correct. Okay, blink twice if you need help. No, I'm good. <laughs> all right. Well, first and foremost, we're going to talk to you about, uh, we were just talking about football, and we're going to talk about football now. Uh, anyone who has been anywhere near your class this year has got to know that you're a big Michigan football fan. Yep. Uh, and we also know that you were able to go to the Rose Bowl this year. Uh -huh. How was that experience for you? Uh, once in a lifetime. That was yeah. so cool. My, uh, my dad randomly called me and was like, hey, do you want to go? And I was like, yeah. And he goes, cool, I got tickets, like, you know, <laughs> the month prior or whatever. And so... Um, to try to run that by my wife was an experience because she was not going. So I was going to sunny LA. Yeah. And she had to stay home with our son. So yeah. that was something that she wasn't looking forward to. But I got to go with my dad and my brother. And so that was something that was really cool. And I uh, have memories for life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Rose Bowl is one of those things that for any big college football fan is absolutely yeah. bucket. I mean, with the expansion of the playoff and everything in college football, like that should be the national championship yeah. stadium. It was so cool. Absolutely. So unreal. Now, of course, you then won the Rose Bowl and went on to win the national championship. Uh, and as a Purdue basketball fan, hearing the words national championship kind of hurt me. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, but how does it feel to win it, just for someone who misses it? Uh, it, was, it was another surreal experience because 
this this is going to be an old this is going to be a little bit too way before your time, but it kind of reminded me of U.S. hockey when they beat the Soviets. The beating Alabama on the Rose Bowl was the national championship for me. Like Washington yeah. was just a yeah, it, was it was just a consolation game. Like you just had to yeah. do it because yeah. at that point it was like it's over. You like you know yeah. you won, and so I mean it was Alabama was. I mean on the on the last drive of the game for for a defensive stop. You know? Yeah. Like, no, I was, was. The stadium must have been. No, and the well, the funny part is my sister-in-law was there too. She'll. T I was wanting to leave with like the four minutes. I was like, it's over. Like I don't want to be here. <laughs> Let's beat party. traffic. Let's get out of here. And then she was like, no. And she's like, you got to stay. I was like, yeah, I know. It's like, yeah, I don't know where I'm going. So oh, we like, I'm staying. And then we won. And of course, she's like, you know, this guy wanted to leave. Like just point <laughs> me out. She was like, he wants out of here. And so I was. But yeah, I mean, like I said, national championship. I mean, when it happened. It was just kind of like just as me as a Michigan fan. Uh, last national championship uh, was '97, so it was that 20, 27 years ago. 27, yeah, 27 years ago. And for it to be that long and then just to happen again, it's kind of like this relief because my first full year as a Michigan fan was the '97 year. Like yeah. every game I watched at 13, you know, yeah. that was the first time I watched every game and they won a national championship. And I was like, dope. This is easy. Like, yeah. they could do this every year. <laughs> and then 27 years later, they get this. I was like, you know, then they got the second one. So, yeah, yeah. like, you learn to appreciate it more yeah. um, as a fan. So, like, hey, you know, if Purdue does it, like. It's going to uh, be big. Yeah. I mean, getting to the second round would yeah. be big at this that point. That would be huge. I would really love to see that. <laughs> yeah, Purdue's not getting a second round. <laughs> no, they'll get say, there. They'll get there this year. I don't have much to add to this conversation, but every single time I look at this picture, I can't get over the striking resemblance. Oh, with between. my dad? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You guys look exactly the same. Yeah, and this a lady here in the corner that's super annoyed for us standing in the way <laughs> of her. I'm like, trying to, she was like, can you move, please? And I was like, no. can I get a picture with my dad really quick. <laughs> like, she's like an Alabama I mean, fan. No. It, she's no, a Michigan she's she, looks, she looks like she's like like trying oh, to get man. in on the picture. I didn't know you guys had that. I didn't even look. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, so. But yeah, that's, uh, that's what people say. We look, I mean, he's still taller than me, but. He, so, he got you to the national title, but now he's gone. How do you feel about Harbaugh leaving? Oh, it's a mixed bag of emotions. Like, he wins... He's one of the top coaches. You don't yeah. want him to leave. Yeah. Like, but as another as another part of Jim Harbaugh, like how many like he's been flirting with the NFL for like the last three or four years. So yeah. it was just kind of like pick one. Like yeah. do one or the other. Now that he's gone, it's that was that's why the national championship was like so important. Like you yeah. knew he was gonna leave, get the national championship. They can lose they can lose four games this year and I'll be like, that's fine. Like yeah. I don't care. Like they won it last year and that's you know that that will hold me over for the next 27 years. Yeah. So, so I'm guessing that that Lions win is going to hold you over for uh, the two Lions. Win. The they got to the they got to the NFC. Yeah, the one. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I like to say the Lions have one playoff win in. Yeah, more than the Cowboys. Yeah. Well, I mean, they have one playoff win in my lifetime, but it's also one win ever in the playoffs. So the yeah. fact that they got two and doubled it up. I thought that was, was big. I thought I was gonna see him go to the Super Bowl. I've never. Like, I was. I was the first time anybody. I was. That was that. That loss was pretty disheartening. But yeah, I cried. I didn't go. Like, like you know, Mr. Jewel. <laughs> I cried. You know, Mr. Jewel was like, you can't have it all. You can't have both. Can't have both championships. And I, yeah, I go. Who says I can? You know, yeah, like I want both. I get yeah. both. So you got the Tigers in there. So. Yeah. Such technical reality. But, yeah. Oh, man, you got more. Oh yeah, that's that's my son. Enjoying his first. That was the one, yeah, right before they went to the NFC title game. So that yeah. was the second win. But yeah, so that was that was another kind of cool thing with sports. I don't, you know, I don't. I uh, Detroit sports. I'm a huge Detroit fan. You know, everything's been down for Detroit for so long. So it was cool yeah. to see some sports kind of pop up. I mean, I would say it still is for the Pistons, but they aren't at the bottom of the league anymore. So they're not. They're not. Oh, they're I haven't paid Wizards. attention. They were. I mean, they're trash. <laughs> they're they're very so bad. bad. But the 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 spot for worst has officially been taken by the Washington yeah. Wizards. So the Pistons are no longer the worst team in the NBA. So oh, well, that's good. so you're not at the bottom. 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 No. Yeah. You know, like I would like to say we were, you know, playing for like Victor Wimbanyana, but that was last year. So that was there's, last year. Yeah. 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 All right. So you like all these games of sports, but you also like to have lots of games and activities in the classroom. You uh -huh. like to dress up. You like to do fun things. Mm -hmm. What is your real motivation for that, and how does it help with the academic environment? 
I just, I mean, if you can't have fun as a teacher, then what's the point? Yeah. Like, if I want to be up there and just talk the whole time and do nothing, and like, bore my, like my first year of teaching, all I did was talk every day. God, it was awful. It was the worst experience of my life. I talked every day. The kids were miserable, and I was like, I got to do something else. And so I was like, you know, I'll just dress up. And they, you know, I kind of played with it a little bit here and there, and they seemed to enjoy it. Then I actually started out and bought costumes, and I tried to mix activities with it. But that's where I find the kids more engaging than is when there's actually fun attached to it. And and so the characters are always just kind of fun. Hey, who are you dressed up as today? You know, you get the, you know, just that little kind of poke of interest mm -hmm. is kind of the key for me. We were talking about, um, you know, when we were researching for all of this, specifically us, we were talking about uh, A-Push last year mm -hmm. when we played the Oregon Trail game. Mm -hmm. And then my favorite was the Ellis Island one. Yeah. So that was a lot of fun. I know that, you know, a lot of teachers don't do stuff like that. So Yeah, like. And the costumes just make it. They like especially they complete the Ellis the Island when you like had the podium and you're like, all right, bring your passports up here. Yeah, that's uh, yeah, like you know, get you up out of your seat and you're kind of put into uncomfortable situations. Mm -hmm. And if you dive in, it makes it even better. Right. And so that's yeah. that's the great thing too. That was you know I teach AP and regular history, but the AP classes are the ones that dive yeah. into it more, which I, makes it more fun. I know when we did the Oregon Trail one, I don't remember what I. I know I died of something, but I don't remember what it was. I know it was something like really stupid, and that's like was the experience for like half the class. It was yeah. Like, oh. Yeah. They all, yeah. And I had the little like crown, like yeah. little cross yeah. crowns and everything for everyone to wear. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. That's yeah. what I try to like try to include more of that and just less of the standardized right. talking in front of everyone. All right, well, we will have to cut this segment off and we're going to send it to a brief commercial break. But after that break, we're going to be back with my favorite segment. We'll see you after this. Aaron's Flooring, a family-owned business and your number one source for all things floors. We're dedicated to providing a wide selection of the best products. Aaron's Flooring has flooring experts on hand to help you determine your next steps in the buying experience. For all your retail and commercial flooring needs, we have products to help achieve the look and feel you desire. Stop into our Frankfurt showroom to view our wide selection of the highest quality products and services. Contact us today for a free in-home estimate and let us turn your house into a home. And we're... Hello and welcome back to Canine Corner. Uh, I'm going to send it I'm over to... take the spotlight from you, Eli, because oh, I want to introduce this. And we're back with the Fast Five as... Hold up. Shout out for Aaron's Florin for that. But <laughs> we're back with the Fast Five where you got five questions. You got five questions, and each one of them you can answer them in five seconds. Uh -huh. And Every single question gets five seconds. Okay. Appreciate so it. just quick, we had, a, no, we had a bit of a mix up. No explanation, just yep. get yes. it out there in five seconds. Okay. All right. Your first one is Will your son be the next Wayne Gretzky? No. <laughs> no, 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 come on, like, look at this guy, he's horrible. I, I, well, I mean, like, that was so bad. you want to say he's the greatest, like, he could be. He can't hold the stick right, like, I mean, he's four right now, come on, like. Get good, you're six now. All right, so the second question is going to be, what is your favorite Mongolian throat singing song to playing during class? Oh God! It's a band called The Hun. Um, <laughs> I don't know the song. I don't know the picture for inspiration. Yeah, I don't know the. I I don't know the song because it's in Mongolian. I don't speak Mongolian, <laughs> so I could just pick the music video. But that's it. <laughs> How good was that sandwich you you posted on Facebook February twentieth? Oh, the fried chicken's delicious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, delicious. I, I, it looks like it. I mean, looking at the picture of it, it looked good. Yeah, that bun was homemade too. Oh. oh. So the next question is going to be, when we were doing our research, we found that you used to have long, <laughs> flowing locks. Yeah. So when did the big chop happen? Uh, I'm guessing after this place. Well, I did it twice. So first time was, what year was this? 2011. So I think that was two years later, I cut my hair. And the second time I did it was after, uh, before I got here. I cut my hair before I came here. All right, here's the big question. There's only one right answer. If not, Taylor's not buying you back. Helen Mirren or Marilyn Streep? Helen Mirren. <laughs> Taylor is ecstatic right now. <laughs> this might be the first time someone has made that choice. That's uh, Well, that's good to hear. We're very happy about that. <laughs> now we're going to have our final segment here. We're going to be sending it to the control room for our extra special 
director's question. Oh. <laughs> Hi, I'm Javelin. We're in the control room, and now to your director with the director's questions. Hi, Mr. Behrens. We just wanted to ask you, how well do you think you can identify important historical dates? Hello and welcome to Name That Date, our new segment here, just exclusively here for Mr. Barons. These are historical dates oh, that, right. you're, that we're going to have some fun with. So, so let's, let's get going with this first one. December 7th, 1941. Pearl Harbor. Correct. All right, next one. July 4th, 1776. Signing of the Declaration of Independence. Perfect. Two for two so far. Next. This one more recent, January 6, 2021. Uh, the, uh, whatever, the, the, uh, the MAGA fans breaking yep. into the White House. Yep, storming, storming of the, the Capitol. Capitol. Okay, so. All right, now, next one, this is our final one, June 26, 2018. June 26, 2018. June, no. <laughs> is it the first Juneteenth? No, unfortunately, it is your own anniversary. For what? I, that's what we thought we saw. For what? I don't know. For your marriage? No, I got married in November. <laughs> wow. wow. <laughs> Big shout out here to... Uh, Big shout out to the research team. Yeah, That's this one goes year. out to Evans Machura. <laughs> did he did that information. Evans, do your... Play more cameras, Evans. <laughs> <laughs> this is why he is not on stage. Well, thank you so much yeah. for coming on. Uh, we really enjoyed it. We're going to have to get uh, up here. Thank you so much. Thank you. You were you, you did a fantastic job. Thanks, guys. That was fun. I'll do it again. All right. Well, we're very happy to to to, to be back here in Canine Corner. Uh, unfortunately, we did have a research issue just right there, uh, but it's not any of our faults. Uh, it's, it's Evans. It's Evans it's Mature's it's fault. Evans Mature. So special shout out to Evans. So you see them in the hallway. That's why he's the cameraman and not here with us. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah, uh, so thank you, to, thank you to everyone for watching. Uh, we haven't made an episode in a while, so we're very happy to have put one on here. Uh, shout out to our brand new crew. We have some people who have returned, but a lot of people are brand new, so special thank you to all of them. Uh, we'd like to thank Mr. Taylor and Mr. Salee. They make all this happen, and especially thank you to the admin, also POE. No shout out to Evans, though. No, no shout-out to Evans. <laughs> Evans does get a shout-out. He, he's doing great behind the camera. Doing uh, thank you all for watching, and we'll see you on the next episode of Canine Corner.